Great, and welcome back. And this is question 262 called Trips and Users. Now, for this question, we're given a trips table along with a users table. And all that we want to do is, I'll just scroll down to the table, is calculate the cancellation rate that there is for a particular day. Now, we only want to do this for um, these three days here, so between the range of uh, the 10th month or October 1st to October 3rd of 2013. Now this cancellation rate is described up here where it's simply um, calculated by the number of canceled requests by unbanned users out of the, you know, the total number of drives that day. And so, yeah, so essentially, why don't we get to it? I'll be using MySQL for this. And what we can do is we're just selecting from our trips table and we're actually not using any join at all. And I'll see, I'll show you how we kind of avoid using that join. Um, the nice thing is that you don't really require any of this data in the users table. That's just kind of used where we can kind of filter out what we don't need. So. I'll actually start with the where clause, why not? And so we want only dates between this to this. So I think it's defined here actually, yeah. And so we have this table called request at. I'll give this an alias t. So where t dot request at is between this date and this date. Just wrap that in brackets just in case. And then the other clause that we also want to do is we want to check that we have are just dealing with unbanned drivers and unbanned users. So that's just defined here where the client and the driver must not be banned. And so this is the only other data that we really need from this other users table. So we can kind of avoid that join entirely. So where our t dot client ID is not in, and we'll write a kind of a subquery here. So we're gonna just select the users IDs from this users table is where they're banned. So where banned is equal to yes. And you just want to do the exact same thing in this where clause, but for the drivers. So where the driver's ID is not in you know, the list of banned users. Okay. So now we just need to select our two columns for the output. And that will be the day. So t dot request that as day. And then our calculation for the cancellation date. So I'll just write out the cancellation rate. Awesome. And one little caveat is they ask you to round it to do decimal points. So we automatically know that we're going to need to use the round function. And we'll pass the two here. And because this is an aggregation, we're going to group by the only other field that we're not using in the aggregation, which is the request at t dot request at. And then here, so what we're going to do is we're going to sum all of the cancellations um, over the total count. So we'll do sum over the total count. We're going to sum if And rule 
return one if it evaluates the true and zero if it evaluates the false. And so to check whether or not there was a cancellation, we just see here. So if the status is equal to completed, then we return one, otherwise we return zero, and we just do it all over the total number of the rows to get the cancellation rate. So let's go ahead and run that. Oh, um, SQL syntax. Oh, t dot status, I think I'm missing. And we need a semicolon. Oh, <laughs> as cancellation rate. And I think what I actually did here is I have to add a zero and a one so that if it's completed, then we know it's been not canceled. So. Great and success. So had a couple errors there and the, the, the sun's kind of shining in my eye, but um, just to kind of go over that, we ended up using an aggregation and a group by statement with the only other clause that we're not selecting in our aggregate. And we just use these aliases as defined, um, you know, for our output. Then we have the round to two decimal places, just you know, they asked for it in the question here. And we're just summing, you know, all of the statuses where um, it's not completed. So if it is complete, we turn zero and we're just adding every single time it wasn't completed. And that way we can just avoid checking for both canceled by driver and canceled by client. And then we just divide it by the total count. So all the rows in it, because that's, you know, the total amount of drives that day. And so to avoid kind of doing any join, we just use multiple where clauses here where we just see, you know, that the client and the driver aren't in this subquery of, you know, banned users. So yeah, I hope that helped and good luck with the rest of your algorithms. Thanks.